In 1991, a group of young artists, led by 23-year-old Zesty Myers, embarked on a North American tour to demonstrate and promote the art of glassblowing. Animated and irreverent, the B-Team is a band of self-styled merry pranksters who travel together, work together, and take the art of glass to a new level. For the last stop on their tour, they visited the Massachusetts College of Art in Boston. The B-Team is a group of where we get together and we do stuff that we don't normally do in our own work. Um, we use each other's helps and our skills to create something. Uh, basically, we try to push the material as far as it can go, conceptually and um, maybe also technically at the same time. But more with concepts and ideas is, um, are the goals behind the B-Team, to create uh, more systems of experience. Um, uh, systems of experience, I mean, to go in there and actually do something instead of just making, um, blowing a piece of glass that sits on a pedestal the next day to, um, to do it with some kind of meaning or content. that's the real point um, behind the team is, is an exchange of ideas. Yeah. So I've never made it over here before. A double over and he's coming up. A double over. When we, when we go to a school, uh, I, I don't look at what we make as really, we don't go there and, oh, we're just going to make some art in a day. It doesn't really work that way. I think we're more for the moment. When we give a, when we give a workshop, at a university or a public access place. Um, we're there to, to inspire energy into the students, either from how we talk or from the slides we show or from the work we actually make or how we work as a team. Um, if they take one part out of that and that makes them excited, that's great. If they can get excited from more than one part of that, that's even better. Hey, thanks a lot there, Zephy. That's, that's, the, that's the only reason we're able to, to do this, go to these schools and, and use as much glass and break glass. And if it was our own studio, we would never be able to afford that, to do that. And so this is one means that you can teach, you can be a student, or you can do something like this if you're not making money off your art. But what else can we do with it? How else can we use the material? How else can we... Uh, where can we push the material to? What, what can the material really do? Well, we know that it stretches. We know that it flows like lava until, a certain, until it gets cold enough that it doesn't really move anymore. Uh, but where, where, can you, where can you take it to? And what, what else can you do with it? Are the questions we start asking ourselves. I'm not, I'm not sure how they all come together, but somehow we just do it. As the night before, we just got to the, we just drove all day, and we get to this place. We, we come up with a list of things that we want to make in, in an hour.
I have the feeling that glass could become as big as anything, any other art in the world. <laughs>